Hi, I'm Eric Lenask. We're here in New York at Cloud Expo. I'm talking with Kenan Rapucci. Kenan is with WSM. Kenan, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Eric. Appreciate it. Who's WSM? What do you do? We're the world's largest cloud migration services provider. We've been around for a little over 10 years. We migrate, transform, automate, and implement DevOps, security, and performance solutions for cloud adoption for SMB through enterprise companies. When you say uh, help that migration, what are companies migrating to and from what? Great question. So it can be physical, on-prem, cloud to cloud, essentially all the data applications, workloads, web services, user services, all their digital assets that are in a hosting infrastructure now. Again, doesn't matter if it's physical, virtual, one cloud provider to another, on-prem. We essentially work with them to uh, execute a complete plan from the migration strategy to the integration and execution, transforming the applications to leverage the power of the cloud, whether it be hybrid or connected in some uh, other fashion to meet the workload requirements, and then we execute that transition and manage it after the go live is done. Why do companies need somebody like WSM? What are the challenges in, the, in that migration process? Great question, Eric. Uh, the short answer is because generally migrations only happen three, four, five years. No one's really an expert at it unless you've been doing it for a long time. And so our secret sauce, if you will, and the solution and the value we bring to our customers is that we know what tools work when, in which case, based on their technical infrastructure. The easy way to explain it is that every application stack and workload and server farm, if you will, is a little bit different in terms of composition, construct, and configuration. So our depth and breadth of experience and literally hundreds of thousands of migrations that we've done helps us bring a solution that's custom tailored to the customer, leveraging automation, the proper op automation when necessary, as well as our methodology to be able to execute and guarantee a successful migration to leverage the cloud or any other infrastructure you need for your hosting assets. How does a company decide what to migrate and for that matter, when? Excellent question. Um, so the short answer again is uh, what to migrate, generally application dependency mapping. That's an exercise and, and an engagement that we undertake to help customers inventory what they're running. Are they back office systems, ERP, Oracle, SAP, Microsoft Dynamics, Citrix Solutions? Are they web services? Are they data intensive services, Mongo, SQL? Um, inventorying these applications, and essentially with our knowledge, we're able to quickly assess what works best in the cloud, how can you leverage that for cost, scalability, performance, and security, and identify the right solution for them to migrate. So when you're doing this as much as we, we do it, and as long as we've been doing it, it becomes fair, fairly intuitive for us to be able to quickly tell a customer with a quick proof of concept, what's migratable, what will work, what should we leave on a physical server for the time being until cloud services can accommodate that, or the workloads are better for the cloud, and that's part of the value we bring to the customer to help them literally uh, expedite cloud adoption to avoid analysis paralysis and uh, be able to do it cost effectively to leverage the cloud. Are you seeing more uh, sort of wholesale migration uh, or is it happening in a, at a, at a piecemeal in a piecemeal type process? Another good question. Uh, so so um, I think it's a, a combination of both. I think what we see that we're actually uh, we're a bit concerned about is there's a lot of delaying with cloud adoption because there is a lot of uh, um, consternation about it, a lot of fear. Um, is it going to work? How do I know it's going to work? Do I need to hire some big white label consulting firm to come in and pay them a million dollars to tell me it might work, right? Um, and, and that's a justifiable concern with a lot of enterprises. On the flip side, it's actually quite tactical. So um, some, some companies prefer to do it piecemeal because they, they feel more comfortable. Uh, they feel less uh, less fear. Uh, others, uh, and most of our projects, are literally a, a holistic migration where we look again at all the application stacks and tell the customer very quickly what makes the most sense, what's low risk, no risk, high risk, what needs to be refactored, what needs to wait. So our services can help them quickly identify that so we can integrate either a piecemeal uh, uh, sort of a sequential process of migrating all their assets or an entire migration strategy from beginning to end so at the end of the period of time they're fully cloudified. So, What's the difference in terms of the migration process and, and your involvement and what you have to do between larger enterprises and the SMB market? Generally with larger enterprises, um, we're, we're spending some time on site with, with, with their architects and CIOs and directors and application staff and operations staff 
uh, to complete that inventory, usually there's more servers, uh, over 500, maybe up to three or 4,000 servers for MSPs and things of that nature. So we'll work uh, on site with them at the front end of the engagement to really create and craft a very formalized plan. Um, and then the execution model is essentially the same if you're enterprise or SMB. Um, in terms of the particular steps that have to take place to execute the migration properly. Um, we'll also um, do tools assessments. So we're, we're, we're toolkit agnostic. We'll use some commercial software when necessary, when it's technically plausible, when it will save money and time um, and eliminate some redundancy. Um, we've also got internal software that we use um, and, of course, our capability to take workloads of all constructs and get them migrated if it has to be manual. So um, procedurally, it all plays out the same. With our SMB customer base, um, we have a separate division actually for that that um, is able to take you know under 50 servers and really sort of productize the migration for lack of a better word where the methodology is essentially the same but it's a much lower impact because generally for SMBs they don't use the um, as much custom digital stacks They're usually web services database stuff it doesn't need to be a significant custom build in most cases but even if it is we can migrate it things don't always work 100 percent the way that they're anticipated to you ever run across situations where you've go through the migration process and then either partially or, or in whole have to help a company migrate back? Rarely do they migrate back. In the, in the early days, yes. So, so full disclosure, when we literally invented the migration services industry category from a services standpoint um, 10 plus years ago, we had a lot of black eyes and bloody noses um, because we were really the first ones through the brick wall. Um, again, migrations aren't events that happen regularly. Um, and, and they can be messy, depending on the application stack, because every server is a snowflake. And uh, one of our partners, one of our friends at Rackspace, and also a partner, uh, indicated to us that, uh, that same statement about five years ago, and they were absolutely right, Joe Palumbo. And so we look at that from the standpoint of creating a custom plan for every customer, and we accommodate for contingencies. Because of our depth and breadth of experience, we have a good idea up front where we may have issues of high risk. And we'll give a customer uh, or a client, enterprise or SMB or mid-market, here are your options. Here's the risk level for that particular application stack. Matter of fact, we had a, an attendee come to our booth yesterday with a healthcare company, has some old Informix uh, uh, applications. He knows they're not going to move, um, but they're not ready to refactor them right now and replace it with something more contemporary that's really cloud-centric. So we have a plan for him. Okay, in terms of it's, it's, you know, we'll use the term hybrid, but in this case, it's a hybrid where they're going to have a cloud solution for their cloud services that are going to work, and we're going to maintain and sort of manage throughout the rest of the end of life cycle the legacy Informix stuff for him. So he's going to have a blended solution, but that's going to be specific to his organization. Okay, so now having gone through those early day injuries and jitters, if you will, we can easily identify where it may not make the most sense to make a move. So we won't have to move you back. Okay. So we plan that in advance and that's one of the pieces of value that we offer. Well, certainly the cloud providers prefer not having moved back either. Kenan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it.